evening freaks. I'm here to give you a read straight from the hip with lots of lip and we're diving back into that what's on deck in December for Pisces collective this rounds. So that's Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury, Mars, or a loaded 12th house. That's a stellium, three or more planets in that 12th house, even if they're not in the sign of Pisces. Or a really strong placement, okay? Could also have an effect where you could find resonance with these messages. You may just feel drawn to this message, and that's okay too. So always pay attention to what your intuition is telling you when it's about tuning in for a read. If you feel called to look at a specific read, there very well could be something there for you. Uh, much like Libra Collective, I felt compelled to bring out my big deck where I combined the Occult Tarot, the Angel Tarot, um, as well as the Arcane Bullshit deck for you. So you might be sharing a lot of uh, similarities with Libra at this time. I feel like it has a lot to do with balancing the shadow and the light. I did get a lot of information coming in about being mindful of really having good um, energy hygiene at this time and more of a protective nature. And I feel like that's something that came in on the Libra read too, if I do recall correctly. So there's some piece of this in particular coming uh, from the angle of the crown chakra, like maybe covering your head, maybe wearing some kind of... Um, amulets, you know, things that you've imbued with your own sense of power, your own intention to just keep the keep the parasitic energies away. I feel like there's a lot of energetical hitchhikers out there right now. And there's also this piece of uh, Pisces Collective about you being really blasted open at this time, just uh, very psychically open. So, you know, it happens to the best of us. It happens to me at times, too, where I just get in the flow of what I'm doing. I get in the flow with channeling, doing readings and and doing my um, my work. And and then I. I forget sometimes, you know, I, I get a little caught up in that and I forget to do my my energy maintenance or do my purification. It's 222 on the clock when I said that, okay? So there's a piece of this that's really important just for um, coming into alignment, coming into alignment right now so you don't have other people's energy in your space. I'm getting headaches specifically, like headaches or just having kind of strange foggy sensations, Um in the head, kind of like cotton brain or um, just feeling kind of swimmy, swimmy in the in the head. You know, there's this is just kind of coming through, maybe even vertigo in some cases. There's really something coming up around the crown and the need to protect the crown. So I wanted to bring that piece in for you all right off the bat. This is a collective message, okay? So not every message may resonate with you, but take what applies to you, toss aside the rest. There's a lot of people who tune in for these messages, so there's no way that every message can hit for every person, but what needs to come through does come through. And I'm of the belief that um, if you tuned in, there's something here for you, there's something for you to receive, all right? Maybe something to pass on. Uh, as well, crosswatch your energy can come in, pick what side you're on. And I would also say, um, you know, to just flip, flip roles as need be, because sometimes there can be role reversal and um, sometimes there's gender reversal, okay? So you just have to tune into the energy, pay attention to your intuition and see what comes through. Bottom of the deck energy, we have Ace of Swords, Umabel, God above all names elevated, affinity and friendship, obtain the friendship of anyone. Okay, and this is coming up in the light. So, you know, Ace of Swords, that's all about the truth. Um, I feel like this is a confirmation on what I was saying. You may actually find that this energy invasion is coming from people that you feel like you have friendships with. Your energies might be a little bit more permeable. There might be some friends that you're normally very close with that you felt like, I, I just need a little space. I need a little time to myself. I think you're also really considering about what connections you want to form. There's a king of pentacles in the mainframe. That's earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this says the adored God, obedience causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. 
yes, you know, I definitely feel like there's this piece that you've taken some space, you know, maybe you've taken a space, a little breathing space from a king of pentacles. You just needed to get a little perspective. Um, maybe this perspective um, that you got also gave this king of pentacles energy some perspective too. allowed them to kind of calm down and and maybe get on board with what you wanted to do. It might have been a bit of a power move. There's also a Knight of Wands involved here. Okay, that's fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, God, the good in himself. Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. All right, well, you know, there might be somebody here who's trying to cover something up. And maybe that's why you're feeling this unusual undercurrent in your friendships. I feel like something's going to come forward. Something's going to come charging forward that's going to kind of um, make things visible. I feel like somebody's coming forward to, you know, maybe even <laughs> try to block somebody from finding out the truth. Maybe there's like a fire sign energy that's coming in to try to block the King of Pentacles from speaking some kind of truth wants to illuminate something that you should be aware of. You also could be dealing with somebody that has fire and earth strongly aspected in their chart. Maybe they know that there's some kind of more impetuous, maybe um, impetuous energy that's charging forward towards you. This Knight of Wands, this fire sign energy. And they're really trying to look out for you. Maybe they, you know, told you something to be on the lookout for with this person. Um, and you were kind of like saying, hey, I can handle it. You know, I know how to handle situations. I know how to deal with difficult people. I got this kind of like, I don't, I don't need you to defend me. And I don't need you to speak my truth for me. I got that on lock. I think maybe this person fell back when you had some communication with them about it. Like, I don't need you to mediate in my friendships or in my situations. I can handle this myself. Um, I do feel like there's something here that wants to be covered up by this Knight of Wands energy that's coming in. It's almost like it's coming in real fast as a decisive move. It feels like it's strategic to try to um, do like a cover up almost like I feel I 733 on the clock when I said that. Okay, so there's some kind of spiritual guidance that's coming through here right now with this message for you that's to be helpful. It's like a tip off, you know, um, it's letting you know about something going on in a relationship. I believe I believe this is in relation to a relationship and right behind that as the basis of the matter we have four of cups coming up, which is Melahel, the God deflecting evil healing capacity, protection from weapons, safety in travel. Okay. So again, I really got this image that there's somebody charging forward and they're doing it as a strategic move. Fire sign energy strongly aspected in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want to prevent something from being discovered. They know if this is discovered that it's going to compromise them in some way. They also know that if you discover this, that it could really rile you up. They think there could be a big potential for, you know, some huge argument or drama to break out, some kind of disruption. I do feel like there's this more mature King of Pentacles energy on the scene, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that's trying to like hold everything down, maybe warned you about this, tried to give you some warning about what's going on in this situation. If this hasn't happened yet, be on the lookout for this in December. I, I really see you saying, I can handle myself. You know, I know how to do, and it was 9-11 on the clock when I said that. Okay, so there's some kind of situation that's coming to a head. And I think you're really asserting yourself in this situation. You're saying, I can speak my own truth. I can stand on it. I'm in integrity. I don't need anybody to speak for me. I don't need anybody to defend me. I can handle this person. And I also think you're not going to deal with any of it either. You're going to use that ace of swords to cut off the bullshit. I'm feeling this really strongly. Oh, and right after that, we got death, mumia, God, the end of the universe, endings and rebirth, influences health and longevity. All right. So, yeah, I feel like you're doing what you need to do to preserve your well-being. 
to just preserve your peace of mind. You're not going to be dealing with anybody who's going to be coming into your sphere that's going to try to activate things, stir up some kind of drama, create arguments, disruption, dissension, or worse yet, trying to drive a wedge between you and someone else. Maybe even trying to drive a wedge in between you and this King of Pentacles. Okay, the King of Pentacles might be trying to warn you because they felt like maybe they had to defend themselves ahead of time in advance of this person arriving on the scene because they feel like this person is going to manipulate situations and sway you against me. There's this piece coming in for somebody. So they felt like they had to kind of like approach you on this and warn you. But yet there's almost like this piece when this comes in, you're a bit offended by it. Like, you know, I can handle it. I can handle it. Almost like don't insult me. Like I can't like I can't read the room. Like I can't see through people. Like I can't pick up uh the scent of the trail. I don't know what's up here. Eleven on the clock when I said that. You're like, no, I got this on lock, okay? I'm the high priestess energy. I know how to work with uh the energy in play and to my advantage, and it was eleven eleven when I said that. I see you bringing an end to this. You're closing out a cycle with somebody and through closing out this cycle, it brings about a new beginning for you that's more in alignment, okay? And this new beginning for you really preserves your peace of mind, your well-being, your happiness. Um, you're just not wanting anybody that's going to bring any kind of distraction or disruption into your life. Top of the deck, energy, the lovers, Haniel. Joy of God, joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy, okay? Like I was saying, there's this piece of negative energy. So I feel like there's somebody who's potentially trying to create disruption in a relationship that is very dear to your heart. Uh, for most of you, this is going to be a romantic relationship. There's somebody that's trying to start some stuff. Um, this may be an interfering party, this fire sign energy that's trying to come in and explain away the situation, try to cover their ass with some elaborate story, okay? Um, this person may have also felt like they were kind of like on the outs, like they sort of got pushed outside the circle of trust, you know, and might be trying to worm their way back in. I think this King of Pentacles is aware of the problem and is really trying to warn you. I almost wonder if you got a little bit of strategy in play, though. I just heard that song. It's a Peter Murphy song. I'll put the link in the comments, but it's called um, Fall With Your Knife. And I feel like that's that Ace of Swords energy there. I feel like you're almost like got a strategic move planned in this situation. It's definitely a situation where there was an important choice to make in the past. And 1313 on the clock when I said that, all right? And this choice was all about wanting to create a new beginning for yourself that would really support your stability, you know? And, and having that, that calmness in your life, that grounding in your life. Just, I feel like this person, when they came around and they started meddling in your business, it really stirred up a lot for you that caused disruption. And it may have had an effect on an important relationship. Now, yes, this could very well be with a lover, with a romantic partner. I mean, when we look at the lover's card and certainly with this card, um, as it's displayed in the angel tarot, it's definitely focusing on romance, on couples, okay? But this can also be like a really close friend, you know, somebody acting as a third party, trying to create disruption between you and a dear friend or you and a family member, all right? I think you've you've spotted this trend, you've been paying attention, um, and you know the truth of this situation and you're gonna use that to your advantage, but I do believe you already have like a strategy in play for how you're gonna handle when this person comes forward. It's almost like, you're kind of like, to play at that game, you know? I, I'm able to be observant, I know how you tick, and I also know what's gonna gonna put you in your place. So you can try to step to me, you can try to work me, you can try to manipulate me, but you're not gonna get very far because I see clearly what's going on here. That Ace of Swords implies that you got the truth and you have clarity and you will wield that sword if you need to, if anybody you know tries to run any game on you. 
Now in the shadow aspect here, we have eight of pentacles, Zagat, turns water into wine and back again, turns blood into wine, turns any metal into legal tender coins, makes fools wise, okay? So I really see this as you maybe exposing something on the work front or something that's related to how somebody is obtaining money. There's some money piece involved where maybe there's been some kind of corruption. Maybe this person has somewhat of a complex, like they think they can get away with anything. They think that they can do anything. Um, maybe they falsely represent themselves. Um, and you're, you're kind of like dropping some knowledge on them. They're, you're educating them. Like you didn't dupe me. You may have other people snowed, but not me. And this may very well have something to do with something on the work scene, um, something you're working on, some kind of business aspiration with this eight of pentacles, okay? Um, I do see you really working on something, something you're really working to build. Maybe somebody thinks that they have a better idea of how you could go about doing something and you really feel like you don't want them meddling in your business on that level because you got it on lock. And we see the tower, Uriel, the fire of God, disruption, warns of disasters, aids in transformation. So, I mean, I'm really picking up this kind of interloper energy in your situation, all right? And something is going to be illuminated. I'm really feeling strongly, though, you have so much light coming out. There's some shadow in there, but most of your cards are coming up in the light aspect. So, I mean, I think you've just been transmuting, transmuting, transmuting this energy. Um, and when I was speaking of protecting the energy, it's not that you don't usually have good energetic maintenance, but I feel like you've just been caught up, busy, taking care of things. You've been busy focusing on your work, what you're manifesting for yourself. You've also been really absorbed in um, different projects that you're excited um, about bringing to fruition. So you've got this energy where you've been very focused on what you've been working on. And so there's this piece of, when you get really busy like that, you might get more distracted from taking a moment to meditate or just kind of clear yourself out energetically or, um, you know, doing any kind of spiritual cleansing. And this piece is more just like being so busy and being so focused on what you're working on that that can slip. So if you've been in that position where you've let it slip and you've been dealing with any kind of stuff going on, you know, in the crown, like feeling kind of stuffy headed, or even if you've had like a head cold, anything of this, this quality going on that involves the head specifically, I feel like there's this need to sort of cleanse things out, you know, and it might be really good to just do some steam inhalation to invite in some cleansing in that way. You can even add some herbs to boiling water in a nice big basin and tent your head and just breathe deeply. And you can put, just like when you do a spiritual cleansing bath, you can you can really put anything in that water to do your steam. Rosemary's great. You know, it's, it's very protective, um, but it's also aligned with that energy of love and it holds a very safe, secure space around opening up into that expansion of love. So that would be a nice one. Myrtle is lovely. Um, lemon verbena is really nice. And then, you know, play around. Feel out what feels right to you. Um, just make sure you're not using any poisonous uh, plant allies when you're doing a steam inhalation because you absolutely will absorb. Uh, you'll absorb the medicine, all right? So you want to be mindful of what you use. But um, to that, you could even add other things if you wanted. You can put crystals in your steam. You can um, put, uh, you know, different flower petals or uh, anything that you're called to, really. You can add intentions. You know, you can infuse the water with Reiki or other energy work, whatever you want to call into that space, you know. Uh, Emoto coming through for you, which makes so much sense because... Um, Dr. Emoto, he did all these studies, you know, where he put energy from different thought forms into the water and studied the water under microscopes, like just maybe putting 
a label that said love on a sample of water and then looking at it under a microscope, it created this like beautiful art. And then putting some energy like um, anger into the water and it would be cloudy and you know, it would change, it would change quality. And water is a conduit and you are of water Pisces. Okay, so there's this piece kind of coming through here for you too. Um, with the water and connecting with the water element and that's been coming in for you for a while But I feel like it's even more pertinent right now I feel like the more you can get into water get by water That's where a lot of your downloads are going to come in a lot of your guidance is going to come in And it's also very cleansing and purifying for you You can release so much give over so much to the water and that even applies to steams steams are, It's just another form of water, right? So um, this piece coming in really strongly. Let's see if we can get um, any more clarification on this. Any more guidance you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury, Mars, or loaded 12th house, significant placement in the 12th house for the month of December. Anything else that they should know? Oh, you want me to use a different deck? Okay, let's bring in a different deck. Wants to use the holographic AE weight tarot. So we're going to bring that in now. All right. What do you got for the Pisces collective? Isn't that interesting? Like holographic again, it's like almost, Oh, this is a really interesting message. I don't know where this is coming. 2133 on the clock when I said that. Okay. So that's three, 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 three. All right. Um, this is big, helpful piece coming in here. Uh, that will really help protect your space. It'll, it's like a cloaking energy, but I got this thing about Pisces, like mocking up your own like holographic, um, almost psychic avatar to sort of guard, guard your space. Watch over your space. This is an interesting concept, something I never really thought of before, but there's something about this that will keep, you know, other people from tapping into your energy. Yeah, look, it moves the fuck shit away from you with the six of swords. It gets all of those outside intrusions of other people's thoughts, other people's, you know, because you're so you're so open right now. There's so much opening and expansion happening in the upper channels for you right now, particularly crown chakra that when your crown chakra is really open like that, it's so easy to take on other stuff, even when, you know, you're not intending to just because you're going about your business and, you know, maybe you haven't been on that cleansing. Yeah, there's some healing that comes forward from this, you know, um, play with that a bit, get creative with it. That could be fun, actually. I don't know. I might take a little, I have a significant placement in the house of Pisces, so I might play with that a bit myself. I like that. And you can kind of change your avatar from time to time, right? Why not mock it up yourself? You see all these people using um, AI-generated avatars. Like, why not just psychically mock up one that guards your space from intrusion? There's something about this. You can even have it guard your property. Yeah. Interesting piece coming forward. And that comes out with the four pentacles. Yeah, there's something about this. Gives a feeling of security, solidity, grounding, okay? And this comes in with the magician. <laughs> yeah, there's something about this, okay? So I feel like you're going to have some energies coming forward in December that are going to try to intrude upon your peace and cause a little disruption. There is this sort of like driving a wedge, you know, between you and somebody else. But I feel like you're going to be able to cut this off at the pass. You're going to be able to avoid this. Bottom of the deck energy. You're definitely going to preserve your peace. You're going to preserve everything you've been growing for yourself. This is nine of pentacles. This is pre-empress energy. So I can see the work you've been doing, what you've been investing in. It's going to pay off for you big time. This is you coming into a place of Personal, financial, wealth, abundance, you know, really doing well for yourself financially, not having to worry about that. So if you've had concerns about your security with that four of pentacles and you've been wondering if, you know, your finances are going to be okay, you're really going to see growth, all right? A lot of growth, but there's also a lot of increase in peace for you and just general harmony in your life because you're spending more time on your own. Again, 
Here we have this fire sign energy comes forward. Page of Wands. You're going to get some kind of news and some kind of forward motion coming towards you from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's a question here about can there be growth in this situation, right? Maybe this person wants to grow something with you, develop something with you, invest in something with you. Maybe you've been down this road with this person before and it didn't really lead to anything. You felt like you were just kind of sitting around uh, on, on hold, you know, for a while. We do have the Sun card coming up right here, all right? So this is a Leo card. Potentially, you might have a Leo that's coming forward. There's also the Magician here. So the Magician is Aries. So there, there's definite fire sign energy on the board. we got Leo and Aries factoring prominently. Um, I see you being in a really solid place in yourself. There was the pre-Empress energy there, and now here you are in your full-on Empress energy, all right? Um, you might have a strong Taurus placement in your chart. Uh, this card is associated with both Libra and Taurus. And um, I think that you're just in a place where you're really vibing on yourself. You're enjoying your time to be creative. You're enjoying the prosperity that's coming from that, the opportunities that are coming from that. I feel like you're doing a lot of work right now that is really lighting you up inside in a way that you haven't been able to focus on for a long time. And it's almost like people became a distraction. So you just made your circle smaller and you started spotting people that you felt drained around, kind of been pulling your energy back. And in some cases, there's been some disappointment. You really felt disappointed in some people. You felt like some people really did you dirty, all right, with the Three of Swords here. There was some kind of heartache around this, you know, and you've been working to balance things out ever since then. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius cards. So we have all fire sign significators here on the board, okay? But this shows you, like, really balancing things out, trying to find the middle way, you know, not putting yourself in situations that are combative where there's this push-pull energy. Uh, now we're doing this. Now we're not. Now it's on. Now it's off. Now I love you. Now I don't, you know. Um, now I want to work with you. I've changed my mind. I'm pulling out. You know, you got tired of this being pulled back and forth. And so you've cleansed yourself of this energy. I feel like you're just balancing all of this out and again that water piece right it comes in so strongly for you you really like you need to go and get your your feet in a body of water you know cleanse your feet this part coming in too something about really giving yourself a nice foot soak you know and um putting some nice oil on your feet making a ritual of that in and of itself just um knowing that your feet you know they they hold a certain energy and that energy touches the earth and the earth is here to support you and it's sort of like giving back to keep your energy clear too. It puts less of a burden on the earth. This is an interesting um, message to come through. I feel like you're doing a lot of work with nature too. There's something you're doing where you're focusing a lot on nature and as you are, you're getting more in touch with those nature elementals. Some of you are getting really deep into fairy and with this piece, there comes also more of a need to do cleansing and being very mindful of your energy body but i think this is all a really wonderful thing look at this we got 10 of pentacles okay so your finances are growing growing big time so where also where you've been having doubts in the past like should i invest in this is it worth it i'd say absolutely whatever you're building is really growing we do see that you first arrive in a place of financial sustenance on your own and then that jumps to the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, so far, um, I'm really getting the impression that you're doing a lot of this building on your own. But there's somebody that, you know, comes around and they also have something to add to something you're already working on, something you've already been doing. You both bring your energies together and you make something happen. I feel like it's some kind of project. It's some kind of investment it's tangible and i believe it has a lot to do with finances you know there's a financial return from it uh, you invest your energy together and something really grows from this that blows you away again i see you moving forward with this with the knight of wands energy so somebody has a strong fire sign placement in the chart 
definite movement coming forward with this with some project you're going to invest in got the chariot here and it leads to a big celebration all right something really to toast at the end of the day and this is definitely about working on something with another person and what you're building and creating together and it's fucking magical because look at this look at this it's magical we got the high priestess to the magician magic's afoot 